Hi, welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Talk Special Economic Zones. I'm your host, Ainsley Brown, and today's episode, we're going to look at facilitation versus regulation. Very hot topic, but I'm going to be a little controversial um, with this topic here. Um, and I believe, and the reason why I'm going to say that is because I believe that regulation versus or, or facilitation versus regulation, I believe is a false dichotomy. Um, and the reason why I say that is you cannot facilitate unless you have the power to do so. And the power that you will have flows from um, the regulatory structure that you have. Likewise, if you overregulate or you're too, too draconian um, in your application of those regulations, there's nothing to facilitate because there are no investors that will be attracted to your regime. So it for me, it's one coin but two different sides. And um, it's a it's a balancing effect and a balancing matter. Um, every time you facilitate, you're using some level of regulatory power that derives from legislation in some way, shape, or form. Um, and likewise, whenever you, and this may sound odd, every when, when you use those regulatory powers, of course, you are facilitating, right? You are facilitating. And it may not go in the favor always of the client, right? But um, the for the regulator, for the for the zone regulator, um, in many ways you could say it has more than one client, right? It has the, you know the typical clients, the developers, the occupants, and so forth, the investors. But on the other side, there is, there are the other parts of the government or the government um, as a whole. Right, that you have to cater to as well. There's a framework in which um, you are to facilitate in, and that that framework is carved out or structured through legislation. So that's why I said that facilitation versus regulation is somewhat of a false dichotomy, right? Um, and you know, I, as I said, if you're too draconian or your 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 facilitation mechanisms or your regulations, one and the same, are too draconian or not attractive enough to an investor, then they will not come in and you have nothing to regulate, right? And you have nothing to facilitate. So there has to be that um, balanced approach and how you structure that your regime will give you those results. And then also, of course, how you apply the regime, but you have to have that um, balance because if you go too far in terms of, oh, I'll just facilitate, 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 allow people in, um, you know, say yes to everything, then um, you're potentially going to attract the wrong kinds of investors. And while you may have a certain level of success on paper, you're not having the success that you could have because you're not attracting um, the type of investors that um, you really want. So you have to have that balance in approach. And as well, people just will not be attracted to you. Oh, you know, um, you say yes to everything. So that means my money as an investor, that means my money is in danger because you're saying yes to everything. Right. Likewise, if you say no to everything, I just won't come. Right. So you have to have that balance. I guess a bunch of yeses with a bunch of noes. It all depends. But you would have to have a structure, a clear structure that is transparent. And there has to be that accountability, not just on the side of the regulator, like the regulator being accountable, but also the clients, the investors have to be held accountable. So there has to be that balancing approach. So as I said, facilitation versus regulation, false dichotomy, right? So if you like this episode, um, please like, share, or leave a comment down below. Um, if you want to see a future episode or suggest a future episode, just let me know and I'll get right back to you.